What's up, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Faye. How are you guys? Hopefully, y'all doing well. I'm doing great. It is hump day. Yeah. <laughs> Happy hump day to all, to you all. Happy Wednesday. Hopefully, you guys are um, having a good day so far and, you know, started off your day great. Um, yeah, so I'm just here to give my one sense. It ain't even a whole sense, but I'm just going to chime in on this whole Chris Brown issue i woke up this morning to texts and emails about this whole thing so it's been on the radio all morning i've been listening in and um ricky smiley morning show they made some valid points y'all know i could really you know i'm not a hundred percent really interested in the whole stars and their issues thing but i'm gonna talk about this because i feel like Okay, this is my point. So, for those of you who don't know, Chris Brown was on an interview on Amer um, America's... What's it called? I was going to say America's Most Wanted. <laughs> he was on Good Morning America. And um, they asked him again in the interview what was going on about the whole, you know, Rihanna thing about the restraining order recently being lifted. And he, you know, was like, oh, I just want to focus on my album, which is fine. And he got so heated after his performance that he went into his room. It's alleged that he went into his room and blew off a bunch of steam, broke a window, water cooler was thrown, blah, blah, blah. Stormed out the building in no shirt. Isn't it cold in New York right now? Anyway, stormed out the building in no shirt. And now everyone's talking about him. People are, are writing in saying that they should cancel his performance because he has another performance with America... Um, uh, good morning America blah 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 so then he tweets that he wished that people would get over this shit and that um, people like Charlie Sheen are doing their own you know people don't give them any flack and he's getting all this flack because of this whole Rihanna thing okay let me say this number one you are not Charlie Sheen and Charlie Sheen is not you number you know as a black man, a young black man, a young black performer, you have to, you know, people don't understand that depending on what your status is, you have to be a cut above the rest. You know what I'm saying? You have to portray yourself as such. I'm sorry. I I would I would be harder on Chris Brown because Chris Brown to me would be like one of my nephews you know what I mean like he's young you know they don't know the world yet they they're angry at everything like he is somebody that I would be harder on because it's like come on dude you got what hundreds and thousands of people wish they had an opportunity to have and um correct me if I'm wrong but you on your second strike okay this is you're you're coming back from already a bad incident two years ago so you know, you are a cut above the rest. And I'm sorry, but in this life, people always say something about people being conceited and blah, blah, blah. But I think in this life, you have to be conceited. You have to hold yourself uh, at a certain level. Otherwise, you're going to fall for everything and you're going to lose your cool and these things will continue to happen to you. Number two, my point is Chris Brown needs to forgive himself. You know, in life, whenever you do something or something happens that you were involved in, people never let you forget, okay? I am 33 years old. I'll be 34 in August. People still remind me day in, day out about stuff that I do when I was that I did when I was 16, 17, 18 years old. Trust me, it wasn't that bad. But it was something that was against the grain, against the norm in my family. Um, I moved that. Okay. <laughs> so, it was against the grain in my family. But I'm still, that I still had that little thing dangling over my shoulders. But guess what? I've forgiven myself for the situation. And when people, you know, talked about it at first, it was really hard to deal with. But... Every now and then, you know, my mother will, will say something. You know, mamas, they just don't even belong in this category because they never let you forget anything. But people will mention it or make reference to it or say something about it. And it doesn't even phase me now. And it's almost 20 years later. You know what I mean? But it took time. Oh, at year five or six, 
So, I was like a missile. Okay, ready to shoot you down. Because, you know, I was quick with the draw. Quick to tell you off if you even mentioned it. Because it was like, what the hell? Let me forget. You know what I mean? Let me move on. I'm, you know, I'm good. But people will never let you forget. They will never let you forget. It's just human nature. What Chris Brown needs to do, in my opinion, is forgive himself. If you're able to forgive yourself for what you did, it don't matter if people bring it up 24-7. It won't phase you. You know what I mean? And I think that's, that's the message that he's missing in all of this. Forgive yourself and then move on. If you did anger management classes and it didn't work... Go back and do it again. You know, a lot of times people, especially in the black community, you know, we shun therapy and, and those things because we, you know, we don't want people knowing our business or how we feel or blah, blah, blah. Damn all of that. You know what I mean? Use the therapy. Get the help you need. Fix the unresolved issues and move on. Because until he forgives himself, he's never going to be able to truly be happy, in my opinion. You know what I mean? So, I just think that he needs to... My eyes water. I ain't crying. Um... <laughs> I just think that he needs to forgive himself and then he'll be able to sit through an interview for five minutes and be cool. They could say Rihanna 20 times and he wouldn't even be affected. You know what I mean? If you are truly moving on, you know, if you're trying to move on, do that. But you got to do it internally as well as externally because people never let you forget. So... That's really what I kept thinking about. They also mentioned on the Ricky Smiley show that he needs to have new a new entourage. And the people that are supporting him may not be supporting him 100% like they should be. Because, you know, he needs to be surrounded by positive people, in my opinion, if he's not. You know, they said that he wasn't. Um, and he needs to be surrounded by people who um, are are really going to make sure that he succeeds you know what i mean and really help him stay focused on the task that's at hand the task at hand is to sell these records make this money <laughs> butter this bread <laughs> i don't like people messing with my bread and butter so when i hear people saying you know messing with their money i'm like not your bread and butter chris come on not your bread and butter okay anyways so that was my two cents i think it was one cent but that's really what i thought about when i was listening about the whole thing you know you got to surround yourself around positive people but most importantly you have to forgive yourself because nobody will until you do okay so that's all i have to say about that i hope that you guys are all doing well um and you're having a great week and your week is almost over and it's going smoothly and all that good stuff be blessed be encouraged stay positive today and i will talk to you guys tomorrow all right bye